Today, we're going to talk about the types of questions that you can ask. These could be used for speeches or debates, but today we're focusing on how to frame questions in small groups and in teams. And I'm working out of BB and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Well, let's get into the details. So the key point here is that good questions will drive your discussions in the kind of direction that you want to go in. The better a group crafts a well-worded discussion question, the more clearly articulated the group's goal will be and the greater the chances of a productive and orderly conversation will happen. So if you wanna have a good focused discussion that moves things forward, you have to craft a good discussion question to begin with. We often see these kinds of details figured out when we're going to do a persuasive type of speech or a debate around a specific type of question because that focuses all your energy to then provide an answer to that question and convince your audience. And in the same way, groups and teams want to focus so they end up where they desire to end up and, and get good answers to the kinds of questions they're asking. The first type is the question of fact. These are questions that are phrased so that the answer to the question is either yes or no. You're trying to figure out whether something is essentially true or false. The group discussion should strive to answer whether something is true or false. As I said, they're focused typically, but not always, on the past. So questions like, did the defendant commit the crime? That's a question trying to establish a fact. Did Roger Bannister break the four-minute mile? Again, figuring out what really happened, true or false? Did the Soviet Union win the space race? These are all questions of fact. They could be questions about stuff that's happening right now, like you could ask when you're in Australia, which way does the water go down the toilet, clockwise or counterclockwise? And you can just Google that. We used to debate about that back when I was in school, but now you can just Google it. These answers though, it seems like, oh, you just look it up and you find the answer. But if you think about it, have you ever tried to look up who said an actual quote? You might see a quote in social media, like who really said that in the first place? Was it actually Abraham Lincoln or Einstein? Establishing those facts is really important. You don't wanna spread misinformation in discussions and groups. You don't want to base your outcomes on faulty information. So questions of fact, especially at the beginning of a discussion are very important. Next, we have questions of prediction. These are questions that ask whether something is likely to occur or may occur under a certain set of circumstances. So this is very important for groups and teams to get a handle on. So groups can attempt to make sense of and prepare for an issue by discussing possible outcomes in advance. They are focused on the future and those discussions may shape future decisions. So for example, big question right now when I'm recording this, Will moving to 100% online classes help college's budget? And then you might ask in your own team, will hiring additional employees speed the project up? These are questions you have to answer about prediction be, uh, that make predictions because then it helps you decide and move forward. And I wanna note there are a few ways to do this. The groups can discuss similar cases from the past. You can run scenarios that are that you can put together as examples. You can use logic and reasoning to make predictions about the future and answer those questions. These are our best guesses, but they can be done in a rigorous way. We also have questions of value. There's a questions to ask whether something is good or bad, desirable or undesirable, and so forth. These are questions about attitudes, beliefs, and values, like what political party has the best agenda for this country? In other words, what do we really value here? What does our company stand for? What do we value? And these are not the same questions about facts, which are trying to establish true or false, but really these are questions about what we hold to in our core. It's about who we are at that central level. Questions of value will drive lots of other decisions. And I wanna unpack this attitudes, beliefs, and values. So attitudes are favorable or unfavorable. That's about your likes and your dislikes, possibly neutral about anything, a person, an object, an idea. These attitudes can change very quickly. You might even say to someone, can you please just change your attitude? That means it can change. It's on the surface level. One level down toward the center is our beliefs, and this is what we believe to be true or false about reality, the 
Bibian Masterson book asks the question, mentions that whether or not you believe in God as a belief. These are deeper than just your changing attitudes. And at the very center, you have your values. Those are your en enduring conception of good and bad. For example, that honesty is good. That might be a core belief for you. And these do not tend to change as rapidly as that surface level of attitudes. The closer you get to the center, the less likely change is to occur. And we have questions of policy. These are questions that guide groups to develop solutions to problems, to make decisions, and to change actual policies. So they might start with words like, well, what should be done about blank? Or what could be done to improve blank? In other words, what are we going to do? What action are we going to take? That's the question of policy. Could be about a company's healthcare policy, about their charitable giving, about their sustainability, whether or not they're supposed to wear a mask and under what circumstances. Questions of policy are specific, they're limited in scope, and they're typically about controversial issues or decisions. So the key point is that good questions drive discussion. So the type of question you ask will lead to a certain kind of discussion that the group will pursue. Question of the day, which of these do you find the most interesting? I would love to hear your comments in that section below. There are many types of questions that groups can talk about and they will lead you to different outcomes. So I'd love to hear your comments and which one stands out to you for whatever reason. So thanks and I will see you soon.